When you cough, a single droplet contains thousands of microorganisms. Many of these are harmless, but some have the capacity to cause disease if it is contracted by another person. Microbiology is the study of many of these microorganisms, their interactions with the human population and their uses in many industries. Microbiology or microorganisms, they basically interact with us on a daily basis. Um, from the day you're born to the day you die, uh, you have these continual interactions with, with microorganisms. Um, in most instances, those interactions are, are good or beneficial, and it's only very seldom that those interactions um, are detrimental in the case of disease-causing organisms. Microbiology played an instrumental role in shaping the world as we know it. It allowed us to eradicate the Black Plague, one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. The discovery of the antibiotic penicillin by microbiologist Alexander Fleming revolutionized our fight against diseases. The discovery of antibiotics revolutionized medicine as we know it and basically um, gave doctors or medical practitioners the, the tools and the arms in which to deal with um, potentially dangerous diseases. Microorganisms are also responsible for many food products such as cheese, yogurt, bread, wine, beer and many others. They are also responsible for the production of biofuels such as bioethanol and biodiesel. You have microbes that produce uh, biofuel, you have uh, several kinds of biofuel. In a sense, you could use microbes to produce your methane, you could use microbes to produce electricity, and you can as well use uh, microbes to produce uh, other fuel like uh, ethanol that can be used for driving cars. Typical case, the case of Brazil, in which uh, the largest fraction of the industry is driven by ethanol. At the University of KwaZulu-Natal, we offer a comprehensive and dynamic microbiology experience. The staff at UKZN are experts in their fields with years of teaching and research experience. We offer a comprehensive educational experience in microbiology. You learn to absorb your knowledge. It's not just studying or rote learning. You interact with your lecturers, with your peers, in the classroom, in your labs, on the sports fields, in your canteens and in your residences. So it's not an isolated uh, place of knowledge where you just go to class and learn. My name is Sando Maseko. I am a student at the University of Wazulu Natal. I'm currently in my third year majoring in microbiology. So I've always been so intrigued by microorganisms and particularly those that cause disease. Um, and I found that the discipline of microbiology has actually quenched that desire, you know, and it's just led me to learn so much more that I've actually considered um, pursuing microbiology at honors level. The undergraduate program consists of a variety of courses. These range from introductory microbiology to food microbiology and microbial bioprocessing. Aside from the interactive lectures, students also participate in lab practicals where they get hands-on experience of working in a lab environment. As a student, when you study microbiology, um, in your first year of BSc, you have to do uh, BIMI, right, which is Introductory Biochemistry and Microbiology. There we introduce you to the different lab um, techniques that you will need. These techniques will be implemented in your second year where you do um, bacteriology, the lab techniques there in your practicals. You're also given um, little research projects uh, later on in your second year to be able to do where you deal with environmental microbiology. In your third year, you get uh, hands-on experience in environmental microbiology. You are able to work with um, fermentation biotechnology, the applications of bacteria, fungi and microalgae in different aspects of the industrial world. My name is Anitlantla Kumbi and I am a master's student in the Department of Microbiology at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. My master's project focuses on using microalgae as a source of biodiesel so as to alleviate the looming energy crisis in the world. My experience at UKZN as an undergraduate student was a really, really good one. The foundation that was laid for me to move on into postgraduate studies in the field of microbiology was excellent. The passion from the lecturers inspired me to understand the 
the topic more. Here at UKZN, uh, we have a bioprocess laboratory that has a theme of approximately uh, 10 postgraduate students that are very hardworking, approximately four PhD students and uh, uh, six master students that are working on various areas of biofoil production. Such students have made uh, significant contribution to knowledge. They have uh, their publications, their work has been published in the top 20 journals in the, in the world in the area of biofoil production. And more importantly, the study from my laboratory is actually uh, uh, presented at various international conferences. We have uh, uh, these students at PhD and master level that travel all over the world. They go to uh, Spain, they go to the United States, they go to different countries, they go to Netherlands to showcase uh, the various uh, findings from the laboratory. Microbiology is very much um, a practical and applied subject and it underpins many different fields um, in the working environment. So I always tell students that even if they do not end up working as a microbiologist, having a good fundamental understanding of microbial principles holds them in very good stead for a wide range of job opportunities that are out there. To study microbiology at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 28 points is required with the subjects English, Maths and Life Orientation and either Physics, Life Sciences or Agricultural Sciences. For more information visit the UKZN website. A passion for microbiology goes hand in hand with hard work and dedication.